comes to Layla, I honestly, I don't even know where to begin. Um, I think y'all have all heard, you know, how we got together to begin with, how Layla was formed. Um, but for those of you who don't know, it all, it all just kind of happened. Um, they randomly put me and Layla together in some match, and we were we were pretty good friends at this point, but we weren't near as close as how good of friends we ended up um, before I left and, and through those years. But we were definitely good friends, and when we went out there on camera, I don't know, Vince just saw something that he liked. He liked the dynamic of the two of us together, and um, that literally was it. As far as coming up with the name, it was just a time um, where the media was given was given, you know, joining everybody's names together, um, Brangelina, um, gosh, I can't even think of all the other ones that were there at the time, but anyway, we thought, well, why not, we're full of ourselves, we're just as cool as these other celebrities, you know, in our minds, of course, um, so let's come up with something, and we, we took our names, we split them in half, we did all sorts of, you know, different combinations of the two, and ultimately ended up with, like, cool, um, so they kept putting us on camera together, we just somehow, I guess you just have that connection with certain people. We just, we just fed off one another. I mean, we couldn't be completely different. She was this cute little petite fireball full of energy, funny as can be. And then you had me, this more Amazon, more serious, more athletic, um, you know, uh, character. And it was just where opposites attract. And I can't tell you how happy I am for um them putting us together and us being able to to build this character and more importantly you know build our bond and our friendship uh even more so than than we already had um i can't say enough about layla you know when we got together she'd come from dancing you know on ecw with kelly and um and brooke and didn't really do much in the ring uh she obviously y'all know how much she grew as an in-ring competitor um she grew as as we both did, and you know, I give her all the glory in the world for helping me develop my character and my skills, and you know, all of our promos. Gosh, I'm just um so thankful. I'm so thankful for her because we literally had so so much fun together. Um, you know, it can be a pretty stressful environment backstage. Um, there is a lot of drama that goes on. You know, when it comes to the girls working together and fighting for storylines and you know, with our character, it was already controversial to begin with, so, um, you know, that was a touchy subject, and you never knew what they were going to give us, um, feelings would get hurt, obviously, we didn't want to hurt anybody's feelings, but it was our character on TV, and, um, thing is, we, we just ran with it, we ran with it, we had fun, and, um, I just love her to death, death, I couldn't even, I couldn't even begin to tell you all the things we've done together, um, you know, from her driving in a car, she could quite possibly be the world's worst driver in the entire world. I'm talking like near death experience every time she was behind the wheel, which needless to say, when I was in the car, I wanted to, I wanted to be the one driving because I like to put my own life in my own hands and definitely not lays when we're in a car. Um, Gosh, we had so many funny times together. We would be in the locker room. I mean, just being so stupid because our character was just so out there, you know. I mean, y'all know how cocky we were. Y'all know how stupid, literally, we were. And to us, the stupider the better. And, you know, I can't tell you how many times we would be sitting in the, the locker room and something would come up. And we'd make a, a storyline out of it. We're like, oh, we could use this, you know. And we just bounced off each other. And, and a lot of times that's where our best work came from. When we were given bullet points, not scripts per se. And we could just do whatever we wanted. Uh, so that made it fun. And as far as, you know, in-ring work, we were constantly trying to think of goofy ideas where, you know, one of us would do something that would backfire on the other. Or Layla being the more timid, more... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for here? More cautious, maybe. Um, we were just trying to always think of something where it could backfire on us and make us look foolish. You know, kind of, we sit here and dish out all this stuff, but somebody's got to stick it to us. And I, you know, I think, I think as far as like cool storylines go, I've said it a million times. I think what put us on the map 
sadly enough, was the whole Piggy James storyline. But like I said, I've, I've said it a gazillion times over and over again, and I give all the credit in the world to Mickey James. Um, true professional. She um, was a true professional in the ring. She was a true professional in the pre-tapes. You know, there were so many times where we'd get the script and literally I'd have a pit in my stomach like, gosh, this is horrible. I don't want to say this. I don't want to do this. or I don't want to do that. We'd go to her. We'd apologize beforehand. Um, but she always sucked it up. And I know it was hard. And even though those things aren't true, you know, obviously she's beautiful. She's not overweight by any stretch of the imagination. But just still hearing those things, despite who you are, I mean, we all have feelings. So um, that was tough. That was really, really tough to have to go through that. Um, but, you know, Vince loved it. The writers loved it. Um, and that was all because of because of her. You know, I don't think there's any other person that I can think of that could have pulled that storyline off. So, um, you know, yeah, all the credit in the world goes to her for that. Um, back to Layla. You know, as far as best memories, gosh, there's just so many. I'd have to, I'd have to say, though... As far as Layla in the ring, my best memory has to be just going out on the Loser Leaves match against her because I wouldn't have wanted to do it at that time with anybody else. Um, it was hard. You know, you're sitting here trying to be serious and ha you have all these emotions inside that are just ready to get out. You know, I'm thinking, man, this is my last match. Here I am with my best friend. Um, it, it was tough, but that's definitely a, a day I'll never forget. Um Probably the funniest thing that happened backstage with Layla involved the locker room, uh, me, her, Kelly, a few of us sitting in the locker room, and one of the agents come to came to go over our match, and let's just say, I can't say any more after that point, it was completely innocent for all of you that may have your minds um, somewhere else, but she knows what I'm talking about, I know what I'm talking about, but I can't talk about it, and I know that just stinks for you guys, but it was... God, it was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, she's just funny, you know. She's always chipper. She is crazy. She'll be the first to tell you that I'd be the first to tell her that she is legitimately nutso half the time. Um, but that's why I love her, you know. She was always who she was. I was always who I am. And uh, we just clicked. And, you know, there, there's nothing that I wouldn't do for that girl. Um, we're still dear friends to this day. And... I know that that is a friendship that I can honestly say will last a lifetime. I wish her nothing but the best, and um, y'all keep cheering her on because she deserves every ounce of it. Lay, if you're listening, love you dearly, and you know you will always be flawless.